Hey friends, welcome to quick learn video series. In this video, we will quickly learn how to enable forms authentication in ASP.NET MVC. It is going to be a simple six step process. Step number one, create login controller and a login action method returning a simple view result. Step number two, create a view called login containing two input controls for accepting user credentials and a simple submit button. These things should be encapsulated inside a form tag whose action should be login slash login check and method should be post. Step number three, open web.config file located in the root location of your project and set and add a authentication section inside system.web section and set mode attribute to forms. Step number four, inside authentication section add a new section called forms and set login URL to tilt slash login slash login where tilt represents root, login represents your controller name and login represents your action name. Step number five, attach authorized attribute to all the action methods which you want to make secure. Please note, if you want, you can attach this attribute either at controller level or at global level. Step number six, inside login controller, create an action method called login check, which is going to be invoked when you click the submit button in your form. And Inside this action method, retrieve the username and password from request.form, create a cookie or we can say create an authentication cookie and redirect to some other action method. So this is how we can enable forms authentication in MVC. Now let's test the application. Put the URL of home action. As you can see, we are redirecting to login action. So just put the username and password and click the login button now you can see we can directly invoke the home action hope you enjoyed it if you are looking for the detailed video about forms authentication please visit questpond.com or if you are looking for any kind of direct training then please visit sukesh-marla.com thank you